Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome to my home fragrance roundup. This is, I feel like I've been saying this in my last few videos, this is the very last one of 2019. I have really enjoyed doing this series this year. There was a decent chunk of time where I didn't do it. Um, but I've recently gotten back into doing it on a much more regular basis, and I really do see myself continuing it in 2020. Um, this is just a weekly video that I like to do every Saturday where I kind of tell you what I've been using in terms of home fragrance. So what candles I was burning, what wax melts I was melting, wallflowers I was using, that kind of stuff. So yeah, you'll definitely see more of this next year. Um, I hope everybody had a really great Christmas if you celebrated. Um, we had a really nice Christmas this past week. It was great to spend time with family and friends and um, I just had a really nice time. <laughs> it's always a lot of work when you're hosting, but it was really great to see everybody in my family and to also spend some time with Craig's family as well. It was just really, really nice. So um, anyway, I hope you were able to enjoy the same family time. And I have a lot of things to share with you guys. I don't think I did this video last Saturday. I can't remember if I did or not, but um, I do have quite a bit of stuff here. And it, because this was the week of Christmas, it's still really kind of revolved heavily around holiday scents. So that's what we're gonna be seeing here. I'm a little bit sad because <laughs> I do have to put away all of my beautiful holiday decor. If you missed my holiday home decor tour this year, I will link it in the description box down below. Um, I did share all of my holiday decorations. I was really happy with how they turned out this year. And um, I'm always sad to put them away because one, the house looks so plain and boring without all of the beautiful colors and textures and all this stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's also a lot of work to put it away. <laughs> and I did buy a bunch more stuff this year, so I have even more to store. I put up an entire other tree, which you can kind of see over here. So, um, yeah, it, uh, there's a lot of stuff to put away. Um, I think I'm going to probably start it after New Year's. So, you guys won't see the holiday pillows and stuff in the background next Saturday, probably. So <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. All right, let's talk about what I've been warming in my candle crocs for actually the last couple of weeks. What I have going on in my candle crock in my dining room is um, the vanilla balsam that was sitting here. So let's see, did I burn this one to that? No, I haven't even lit this. I'm, I'm probably just going to save this one for next year, but... Um, I had a matching vanilla balsam that sat over on this end table over here. Well, I burned the first one to the halfway point, and it did pretty good. And after the halfway point, the wick started moving over to the side. There was no, like, sooting or smoking or anything like that. But I don't know if the wick glue at the bottom just didn't take, but it got uncomfortably close for my liking to the side of the glass. And I'm always conscious to look out for that because if your wick gets too close to the side, you, it can cause your candle to basically burst the glass um, if it gets too hot. So keep an eye on your candles. One of my wicks got way too close. I blew it out, I put it in the candle crock, and it's been going in there ever since, and it's it's lovely. I love this scent, it's beautiful. The packaging of this one is gorgeous as well, but as you can see, I never did light the one on the other side. I really love this scent from Bath & Body Works. I think it's really, really pretty. Oh, this one has a weird cut. Looks like it was like scratched or something. I don't know who did that, but um, anyway, it's a lovely holiday scent. It is a vanilla and a balsam, and it's just a really toned down pretty tree type scent. So I will look forward to burning this again next year. Um, hopefully the wicks on this one don't do what the first one did. But anyway, so there's that. Um, I also warmed warm apple pie in my candle crock. Um, this was in there for a full week. Uh, you can see how the wicks traveled here. I never did light this one. So 
uh, this one just went straight into the crock, lived its life there, and um, now it smells like nothing. It smells like wax. So sometimes I will do that with my Bath and Body Works candles. Um, I don't know why I did that with warm apple pie. It was wonderful. It was really nice in there. I like the scent burning too, but I think it was just a little bit stronger in the candle crock. So anyway, whatever. It's another Bath and Body Works candle down. <laughs> I, have, I still have so many that I need to get through. Um, okay, pumpkin pecan waffles. I did also burn this one during the last week. Lovely. I am going to go ahead and finish this one up so that it's done. I don't know what I'm going to start burning in January. What do you guys start transitioning over to? Do you go to fruity fresh scents? Do you still continue with the gourmand scents? Are you still doing tree scents? <laughs> um, I'm always curious what other people start burning and melting during January. It's kind of, it's a weird month for me because it is definitely still winter, but I start craving slightly fresher scents. So I don't know. I'm going to have to go through and see what I want to pull out. You know what I need to burn that I bought several of that I still have not even burned and done a review of is vanilla birch. Uh, that'd be a good January scent. So maybe I'll bust that out. <laughs> um, okay. I had several of these going. This is nest spiced orange and clove. So I actually have the three wick over here on my entry table. And I had two of these eight ounce sizes in my dining room. So good, you guys. I just love this one. This for me is definitely going to be a go-to holiday scent going forward. It's just absolutely amazing and beautiful and strong and just kind of the epitome of the holidays to me. Um, don't get me wrong, Nest Holiday, which I have here, is still a favorite from Nest. And this is lovely. And I actually had this smaller guy as well as two eight ounce jars in my dining room as well. I, did, I didn't bring everything in here because there were some multiples going. But I would say in terms of like a new, like a real true new Nest favorite, it is definitely spice orange and clove. I hope they don't discontinue this one. Um, I think it's amazing. Also, Nest Holiday is incredible. Love this one. Um, yeah, but I think that Spice Orange and Clove just beat this one out for top spots, so love it. Also, I had several of these going. This is also a Nest candle. Um, I tend to buy my Nest candles either through the Nest website when they have a sale or Sephora because I can get the points at Sephora. So um, all of these scents you can get at Sephora, um, but um, I guess... Well, they're not really seasonally appropriate going forward, I guess, especially if you're not burning holiday scents in uh, January. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and probably finish the spiced orange and clove instead of putting it away. But I think I'll probably finish at least these two little guys as well. But I might put my other holiday ones because those are only about... Mm, not even a third of the way in, so I can save those for next year. But anyway, I, I love my Nest candles. They're amazing. So get them at Sephora, get them on the Nest. Web. There's also a company called Candles Off Main. I've never ordered anything from them, but I think a lot of you guys do. So you might be able to get them there. Um, let's talk a little bit of Scentsy and then we'll do some homeworks. So first, Candied Cranberry Pecan. I was warming this all throughout the upstairs of my house. This one is really nice, you guys. Um, it is a very tart and also sweet cranberry scent. Lovely. I could see myself continuing to melt this into January as well. Um, and then I have a couple of different types of... Um, tree scents. <laughs> I'm really sad to be putting the tree scents away, but these really are like very holiday specific to me. Some of my holiday scents I can kind of like see burning into January or even fall scents into January. But like when it comes to holiday tree scents, once I put my Christmas tree away, I 
kind of like to put those away because those are just very special scents that I definitely associate with the holidays specifically. So anyway, let's let's talk some amazing tree scents from Scentsy. So Farmhouse Fur, this one was really nice, you guys. I believe this was new this year. This is... This definitely has notes of fur in it, but there's also almost like a slight floral to this. Almost a perfuminess. It's really unique. And it does remind me for some reason of like a farmhouse, like country tree smell. It's very aptly named. It really does inspire like a farmhouse in the country with like snow on the ground and just like that very kind of homey cozy vibe but like pretty if that makes sense I do like this one uh if this comes back next year I will definitely be repurchasing this for sure here is evergreen and grapefruit evergreen and grapefruit was exclusive I believe to the there was like the cozy collection and then there was also, oh gosh, was it a winter collection or something from Scentsy? Um, and this was a part of that. I have not melted the, there's two other scents that come in that. There is the hazelnut frosting and then a brown sugar and praline or something like that. I have not warmed those two, but this one, this one's really good, you guys. And, um... What was funny is when I ordered this, Lisa was like, I don't know if you're going to like that one. <laughs> and I was like, I think it's worth trying because I do love a tree scent mixed with a citrus. And this is evergreen and grapefruit. If you liked spiced grapefruit from Scentsy, you will like this one. This is really good, you guys. The evergreen note is not... Um, is not quite as prominent as the grapefruit is, but it's a really nice combination of the two. It's a little bit more grapefruit than it is evergreen note, but it's pretty simple. It's nice. It's very, it's very holiday. I used to never think of grapefruit as holiday, but once I started getting into the spiced orange and clove, and once I fell in love with the spiced grapefruit, um, back when it was, uh, bring back my bar, I think it was last June. Um, I just, I was like, I, I have to, I have to just do all of the citrus scents <laughs> for the holidays. And this one is really great. Definitely check this one out. Um, and then very snowy spruce, which is just a really nice basic spruce scent. I mean, that's really all this is. It does smell like it maybe has a little bit of like a vanilla type base to it. Cause it's not really astringent and strong. It's beautiful. It's just a really nice, if you are just looking for tree scent with not a whole lot of extra, no citrus or anything like that, not perfumey, check this out. This is a little bit more straight up. Um, and then ooh, um, the other one that goes with this. So this is Yuletide Glow. The other one is all through the house. Um, that one I forgot to grab from my family room. It is almost done. I think I, I maybe have like one burn and that might be generous. I think I'm basically done with that one. Such a nice scent. Basically smelled like leaves from Bath and Body Works. Um, this one I did uh, burn a couple times this past week as well. The Yuletide Glow. Those two came in a set together. Um, I think at this point I'm going to save this one for next holiday season. Um, it's a smoky like fireplace type of scent. Not my all-time favorite, but nice. Um, and um, But I think at this point, now that Christmas is over, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one away. And um, I am, however, gonna finish out the last burn of all through the house, I think is what it's called. And again, that one smells very much like leaves. It's wonderful, love that one. And all of my guests liked it too. That's what I had lit on Christmas day this year. And then the last two, I only have the lids because I am burning them right now for my review for tomorrow. I've burned them already a couple times this week. The uh, dessert duo from Homeworks and the Hobnail Glass. Um, it has the, wait for it, uh, sugared beignets and then the tres leches 
blackberry. I have the sugared beignets in here and I have tres leches in my kitchen. Um, they are just meeting in the middle and it's really nice. Spoiler, I really like them, but we'll talk about the burn and all that other stuff in the video, which will go live tomorrow. So I'm going to view that, review them both uh, in the same video instead of doing separate. So um, we'll talk about that. But oh, this purple, ooh, this is so pretty, you guys. The only thing I don't like with these Homeworks hobnail um, duos that he does, the color is, so the glass is always just regular clear glass, and you can kind of tell that on the side here. The inside is just spray painted. So, um, you know, it kind of shows through the glass. I really wish this was like a solid cream. I love this cream one, by the way. This is so pretty. This is probably my favorite is the cream. Um, I wish it was just cream glass instead of spray painted clear glass because sometimes when I clean these up, I will scratch the paint on the inside and once I do that, like I'm not as pumped to reuse them, if that makes sense. I'm kind of a perfectionist, but um, yeah, they're just, they're so pretty. I love the glass. Is there anything else? Oh yes, my Yankee White Christmas. I have my very last Yankee White Christmas that I've been burning for the last couple of weeks. Um, I can't really smell it. I think I'm going to go ahead and just pop it onto a hot plate warmer at this point because it's, I only have about this much wax left. So I'll probably put that in my laundry room and just finish it up over the next few days. And um, yeah, that's the last one because it's a discontinued scent. I think it was re-released in some scent at TJ Maxx this year, but I was never able to find it. So but yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm just going to finish up some holiday stuff over the next few days before I put my tree away and then we're going to switch it up to I don't know what I'm going to have to look through my candle collection and <laughs> see what I have backups of um I do see myself going to Bath and Body Works for the strawberry pound cake and there's also a vanilla passion fruit that I'm kind of curious about um I don't know how I'm how much I'm actually going to get from Bath and Body Works because like I said the performance of the products not that great so um yeah, I, I'll pick up like one or two of each just to test them out. And if they're good, I'll buy some backups. If not, I'll just wait and see what Homeworks comes out with and maybe what Nest comes out with for the spring and just kind of go down those rabbit holes. So, all right, have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow for the Homeworks Dessert Duo Candle Review. Take care, guys. Bye.